Prince Hall was born in the mid-1730s. The exact year of his birth and his birthplace is not clear. Because of so, not much is known about his early life. He was enslaved by William Hall, a leather worker of Boston. It is said that while enslaved, Hall taught Prince the trade of leather work, which would prove beneficial in supporting himself as a freeman. In the spring of 1770, Hall was manumitted from slavery. Hall soon became very active within Boston's black community. During the Revolutionary War, Hall owned his own leather shop and used his skills to support the Patriot Army. In 1775, Irish soldiers stationed at Boston Harbor invited Hall and 14 other blacks to join the Masons under Lodge No. 441. Once the war was over, Hall and the others formed the African Lodge No. 459. And in 1777, Hall along with seven other African Americans petitioned the general court to abolish slavery. Slavery was finally abolished in Massachusetts in 1783. The following year, African Lodge No. 459 was given a permanent charter. Initially, the American Order of Masons refused to give Hall a charter, but he insisted and wrote the Grand Lodge of London, England. He was not only given a permanent charter, but he was also designated the Lodge's Grand Master. As a Grand Master, he could now issue charters to organize black communities, and that's exactly what he did. Hall used the organization to further progress the conditions of blacks in America. In 1787, Hall petitioned legislators to open up a school for blacks. Having been told no funds were available, Hall opened up a school within his own home to educate free blacks. Hall's success as Grand Master continued to grow. He would later be appointed Provincial Grand Master and given governance over a larger region. With this new power, Hall continued to organize black communities. He wrote several essays and speeches promoting equal rights for blacks. He even helped establish the AME Church in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania with Richard Allen and Absalom Jones, who were both Freemasons. Prince Hall was an abolitionist, a social activist, and he founded one of the first African-American organizations in the country, the Prince Hall Freemasons.